a group of moms is leading the charge for getting untraceable guns off the streets, reforming police departments, and making the community safe for everyone. And WJZ is live at 4.30. Rachel Carden with the story. Rachel. That's right, Rick and Vic, after Governor Hogan vetoed a bill that would require anyone buying a shotgun or a rifle to have a background check, these moms contacted their representatives hoping to override that veto and also make other changes. We are going to override the governor's veto for House Bill 4. Delegates, senators, moms, a force to be reckoned with as they fight against Governor Hogan's veto of a bill requiring background checks for shotguns and rifles. Background checks are the most effective way to keep guns out of the hands of those who are legally prohibited from having them. But the group isn't stopping there. They want reform, transparency, and accountability for people who are authorized to use guns, like police officers. Police violence is gun violence. Darlene Kane's son, Dale Graham was 29 when he was shot and killed by Baltimore police on October 28, 2008. Many people in that female community, so they don't get to understand. She said she also supports the group's move to get ghost guns off the streets. Guns that are made by just assembling different parts, but unfortunately they don't have a serial number, so they're untraceable and they're used in many cases in crimes. These are real people. These real people die every day. WJZ reached out to the governor's office to get a response to the veto of House Bill 4 and on these future bills. We have not yet received a response. There were more than 130 meetings held throughout the day today with different legislatures. Now, we know that during the legislative session, advocates will be testifying on behalf of each of these bills, hoping to pass them into law. Reporting for WJZ at 430, I'm Rachel Carden.